Welcome to one and two. Today we're going to talk about smart homes and how awesome they can be. All right, to start it off with, you're going to need a hub. I personally like smart things. They've been a little iffy in the last couple months, but overall, the work they've done in my home is fantastic. And as you can see today, it's on sale for $49.99. That normally they are about a hundred bucks. Um, I would recommend getting the let's see if we can find it here uh, they do not have it ah here it is it's a Samsung smart things home wiring kit the full kit at $149 you get two multi-purpose sensors a motion detector and an outlet separately you're gonna spend a little bit more I mean the $249 on sale on Amazon so recommendation getting the kit a little bit more expensive up front but it can save your ass in the end. Putting the sensors on your garage door, letting you know when it's open or closed. The motion sensor for bathroom lights, hallway lights. They all can link together, which is great. I mean, I have routines at home. Incredible amounts of routines. Uh, I get woken up every morning. My light bulb will dim from 30% to 100%, or from 0% to 100%. And then turn on music afterwards. Like, how would you not want to be woken up in the morning like that? It's fantastic. Girlfriend doesn't like it. She's not a huge fan. <laughs> I love it. Okay, since we're talking about light bulbs, let's move on to the next one. We have the Cree Connected Light Bulb. $15.97 a bulb. If you're lucky, you can get it on sale for about $12 a piece, which is what I got mine for. I mean, total, let's say you just want to automate your lights. You can walk away with under 200 bucks having your house lit with smart bulbs. And VROI is a little iffy on it though. Like you're gonna have to use them for a couple of years before it pays off. <laughs> and then of course we have the Amazon Echo. I love it. Sit there, walk through my front door, yell at it, turn on all my lights. Occasionally doesn't want to listen to me, but that's selling the voice settings. <laughs> now this can run anywhere between 120 to 180. I've gotten mine for about 80 bucks, use a bunch of coupons. Love it. This makes my smart home. <laughs> I mean, who wants to sit there on their phone and turn on light bulbs? Not this guy. I also purchased a uh, Amazon Dot. I have this tied in directly to an amplifier, which plays throughout the speakers in my home. Uh, hence the music in the morning. Love every bit of it. Um, the built-in speakers, are, they're decent, but uh, really depends on what you want. This is a cheaper route to go, so having your light bulbs with the hub and throwing this in on it, you're looking at, what, 100, 180 to 250, depending on how many lights you have. And then of course, outlets. You can have a smart outlet. You can plug in your toaster to it, have it to- well, I don't know if you have to, I mean, you might have to press it down, but you can plug in your toaster to it! Coffee pots, crock pots, this is where it gets cool. You can plug in a crock pot to this thing and cook your food from work. Oh, it's frozen, let it sit a little bit. Ah, lunch time at work, I'm gonna turn on my crock pot. By the time you get home, food's done. Or, shoot, did I forget to turn off that lamp, that crock pot? toaster, whatever you may have plugged into it, you can turn it off from work. You can turn it off from anywhere. Perfect. I have one of these plugged right directly into an AC unit and another one into my TV. TV one's for the residual energy, but either way, it works. I can turn off my TV. Alexa, turn off TV. And click and it's gone. Save a little bit of money that way. And then of course, switches. These are also fantastic. Let's say you have a whole bunch of lights connected to one switch. You don't want to go out and spend $80 on bulbs. You can spend $49 on a switch. Connect to all those light bulbs. This one in particular is a three-way switch, which comes in handy when you have a three-way switch. The other ones don't normally work with a three-way switch. And of course, we have the sensors. Like I said, it's a lot better getting the kit than buying them separately. I mean, here's 
just in one multi-sensor and one uh, motion sensor, a lot better to get the kits. I mean, you can put these things on just about anything, windows, doors, you name it. When it opens and closes, you can have it send a text to you, tell you, oh, your front door is open. Or when you go to turn on the AC, it can send you a message saying, hey, your window's open, close it. Don't want to lose all that cold air. Um, my purpose with this is I put it in my garage door. I'm a little paranoid sometimes, but I have to make sure my garage door's shut. With that sensor, you can tell. You, you know for a fact that your door is shut. It has a <clears throat> temperature sensor in it as well, so you can tell exactly how cold is it, it is in your garage, how warm it is. You can put it in your living room, and it can tell you how warm your living room is. I um, believe it also is a water sensor. Don't quote me on that. Might have to actually look that up. But again, if you have a leak, boom, you know you have a leak. And we all know water and houses don't mix. Then, of course, the Nest thermostat. One of my favorites. I have seen the ROI in this go from a year down to a month. Put this in one of my clients' houses, and yeah, he saved about $300 on his heating bill in one month. I mean, granted, he purchased three of these, but he paid for one of them in one month. Kind of impressive. Um, me, personally, I'm looking at about six months to pay for one of these off. And if you're lucky, you can also use, uh, we have Consumers Energy out here, they gave us a rebate. $100 off for buying this thermostat. Oddly enough, got the rebate in four days. Who does that? No one gives you a rebate in four days. Kind of cool. And then, last but not least, we have Smart Tiles. Smart Tiles is pretty neat. This goes right to the Smart Things Hub. I set this up on a tablet because, well, my mother doesn't know how to yell at Alexa to turn on lights. <laughs> she goes, hey, Amazon, or one of those random names, and obviously it doesn't turn it off. So I set this up for her, and this is a real simple control panel. All you gotta do is get a tablet, mount it to the wall, you can drag and drop all your icons in there, and it's free. You don't have to pay for this, <laughs> which is fantastic. You just click the install button, done. Links right into your SmartThings control panel. You can uh, configure it, you can change, obviously you can change your screens, but you can configure it exactly the way you want. You can have one panel for the mother-in-law to have on her phone. You can have another panel for your kids to have on their phone. You can have another panel that has everything on it or just by bedrooms. And then to get that you just obviously go to www.smarttiles.click and it brings you right to this page. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean you can walk out of having a smart home for four or five hundred dollars and have everything you want in it. I mean, obviously, the bigger the house, the more you're going to have to put into it, but to start off with, you can have two light bulbs and the smaller version of the hub, and you're looking at 120 bucks to uh, run around with smart bulbs in your house. I mean, I started off with living in an apartment, just the hub and a few light bulbs, and worked my way up from there. Start small. Start small, work your way up. But real simple, all of these devices work together. I mean, the Nest doesn't quite work with smart things yet, but it does through the Echo. And let me tell you, it works well. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys take care and thanks for watching.